Hey guys, we are back and we are on the test server. If you don't know, the test server is the early access version of the next planned update. And this update focuses on a whole bunch of new customs pets, uh, focusing on trumpets, mana, and strawberry, and making those archetypes a bit more exciting. So there's a ton of that, but there's also a new mini pack with one pet in particular, the Ocean Sunfish. Now the Ocean Sunfish does four, eight, or 12 damage, I believe, to all pets ahead at the start of battle on uh, odd turns only. So it's a sunfish, so it only works during the day. That's the gimmick. Uh, it is a pretty strong pet. Uh, it's a tier six. It has the same DPS as something like Manta Shrimp, which is cool. And we're gonna be using that. We will also be using the Werewolf now, though. The Werewolf is an uh, unicorn pack pet that only works on even turns. And our goal is to swap entirely between a five of a kind every other round. So one round we will have five ocean sunfish, and one round we will have five werewolves. And in order to pull that off, we'll need a tier three pet, which I'm looking for right now. Uh, and we'll see what we get. Now, I'll talk about what we're doing now. We've got a Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon is one of my favorite pets. I think maybe my last two videos I spent talking about how much I love Dimetrodon, so I'm gonna just point you to those if you're curious why I like this pet so much, but it's great, very handy, and it's not gonna pull us past that 11-11 frog, but it's pretty nice regardless. So yeah, now I believe we are in, yep, turn five, so tier three. There's a tier three pet we are looking for, and there it is, that is the Sugar Glider. Now Sugar Glider was added in the last big customs update, and I certainly I haven't seen anyone focus on it because it's not that extraordinary of a pet. All it does is it summons a cupcake at the start of turn for you to use. Uh, it's free. Now, cupcakes give you temporary stats, so it's not really scaling. It's just kind of a feed trigger. And it multiplies the value of that cupcake every turn, so it's not really a... Um, it's not really like you get more feed triggers as you get it. So it's a little weird. It's not that great of a pet, but it's perfect for our purposes here. And if you can guess why that's uh, that's the case, I'd love to hear, because this is, I, I don't think anyone's ever used this pet the way I'm gonna use it. Um, but it's absolutely critical for our strategy here. And yeah, now we're leveling up on turn seven. We are looking for werewolves. Uh, I pull on a fairy for some, for the toy, and I put a deer at the back. Now, if you're curious why there's a deer at the back, uh, I'm not sure if this happens in this game or not, but there's a new pet that can give a food perk to both teams at the back. Uh, people love to do that with chocolate cake, which will make your pet faint and gain experience. So if it's not a faint pet, it's pretty close to useless to have chocolate cake on it. Uh, but I don't think it actually saves me in this game, but in like the 30 or so attempts I made, at this build, having a deer at the back probably saved me on average like two rounds per game. So it's very important to have that. I might put in a clip of that somewhere, maybe around here. So yeah, now we are on turn nine and we get an oyster mushroom. Actually, we've been getting a lot of those. Oyster Mushroom transforms the thing ahead of it into uh, the thing that is holding the Oyster Mushroom. And so, as you can see here, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of Dimetrodons, which then have their start of battle effect since Oyster Mushroom happens before start of battle. Very, very handy. Um, and that's how we're gonna transform our whole team. We're still missing some pieces of the puzzle, although we're going to get the level 3 sugar glider here. I wasn't... Pl it's not necessary to get it at level 3. It's only kind of handy to have it at level 2. But when you roll 3 sugar gliders, you grab 3 sugar gliders. And here we grab the werewolf. The werewolf's a big piece of this. And you can see it's doubling its own stats at the start of battle. Um, but there's only one of them, and we need 5 of them. Um, we also need five Ocean Sunfish. Now, Ocean Sunfish is a tier six. 
So it has just now become available, but we got it on the level up last turn. So there's that. And you're gonna see I'm gonna feed the cupcake to it this time. Hand it the uh, oyster mushroom. And now we have a team of five oyster mushrooms that we only actually need four. I'll end up replacing the perk at the front. But the way this is gonna work is it's an odd turn, so I'll have Pacific or the sunfish at the back, and the sunfish is going to turn everything else into a sunfish, uh, making sure that the attack order we have is going down, so that the highest attack thing happens first is at the back, and that will allow us to bring everything to the front. And now we can see why we need the cupcake. Using the sugar glider, I'm able to configure which pet has higher attack every other turn, so I don't need to randomly scale and hope to find foods or whatever to get the werewolf and sunfish to change positions. And so you can see here, now we are a full werewolf team, which means I am doubling all of my stats on my whole team. Uh, now this person's going for sea cucumber, it's a very fun new unit that I'll probably mess with at some point, maybe on... Uh, maybe in a video, I'm not sure, but we're able to take them out. Now, Werewolf and Pacific Sunfish are both um, tempo units, so it's pretty important that you win early, even if you have five of them. Uh, again, I did about 30 attempts of this, I believe, and this is the only one, oh, actually, I won quite a few, but this is the only one where I won with the full five of a kind. Uh, it either wins too fast or not at all. And there's not too much to talk about, just get to bask in how great this is. Um, I don't think this is overpowered, um, as a build at least. We're going into, this will be our last turn. I get the Garial and a Foam Sword just for a little bit of extra help. And once again, we are going to double our entire team's um, stats as you'll see here and yeah this this was really fun I, I had a lot of enjoyment with this um, I'm not entirely sure what this person was going for I haven't really looked into it that much but they're not breaking through this wall of werewolves and this will be our win so yeah I might do more uh, test server stuff in the future I'm not really sure but thanks for watching and I'll see you later